<laughs> I, <laughs> I've been here for a long time already. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. Okay, so usually I start this at like, I mean, I get in it around 125 or 28 degrees and then it goes up from there. But usually I start my vlog before I start sweating. So I'm in here maybe five or 10 minutes and then I start it. But I've been in here like 40 minutes. <laughs> so I'm so sweaty. Which is good, and I mean, um, that's the whole point. You come in here and you freaking, you know, detox, meditate, go to another dimension, clear your mind and your body, and just, you know, sort of figure out if you're on the right path or whatever. And so today, I haven't been in here in a couple of days. It was the most intense weekend, and it's a lot of intense energy. I'm sorry. A lot of intense energy and really coming to grips with your life and, and taking a good look at things and, um, you know, just standing solid in your heart and also being realistic at the same time, you know, because sometimes timing and what our heart wants and desires and our manifestation abilities don't always coincide with real life. And that's just a friggin' reality. So, but you don't want to fall into a state of, you know, despair or failure or whatever. You just... Sometimes spirit wants you to experience, you know, different things before you get to that place where you feel that you really want to be in life. So I think that change is very sometimes stressful or can be because people, you know, like to know what to expect and where things are going and what's happening and how things are going to turn out. But the reality is, you know what, we just have to know that spirit always has the best in mind for us, you know, and then we're never going to be given more than we can handle. And that's the reality. You know, we can always deal. You just have to sometimes dig deep, you know, and just know that everything's going to be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. And just keep moving forward, you know, just know that everything's going to work out. And that's the trick. So, um, Keep positive, everybody, this week. You know, there's a lot of tumultuous uh, astrological energy that's around and is going to continue through the week and even probably the next week. But um, it's all about transformation, you know, and transformation to a better place in your life and a better place with what's really in alignment with your spirit. And sometimes you don't expect whatever that might be in the moment, you know. I'm going to digress for a minute. Yesterday I was out in Malibu and I saw a dog, two dogs running in Pacific Coast Highway. And so we stopped and got out to try to help the dogs get out of the highway. And one of the dogs literally attacked me and it threw me off so much energetically because animals love me, number one, but they also symbolize loyalty and trust. And I got bit and, and you know, that was pretty traumatic and it's just symbolically I had to try to say, what is this energy that I attracted when I was trying to help this creature and what is that trying to show me? You know, so I say to people and myself, look at the signs in your life and what you're attracting, what you're manifesting and what you need to listen to and to follow spirits, you know, subtle and sometimes not so subtle hints right because we're all here for a higher purpose and spirit always wants to stay on that path you know for our highest spiritual evolution oh my gosh so anyway i'm gonna meditate now i've got about 20 more minutes in here it's 135 degrees i'm sweating bullets but i'm gonna be sweating sweating a lot more i'm sure of that Whew. so everybody remember to breathe And let out any negative energy or negative thoughts or anxieties or feelings of helplessness that you have in your body, especially in your heart chakra. I let it all go, you know, and I know that spirit's got my back. I know that. And all of us, we all should know that, you know. Okay, everybody, peace and blessings to you all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I mean, I, it helps me to talk, so hopefully it helps somebody else too. That's the whole point. All right.